Hi there, I'm Christine Zips of Zips Media and Wired Schools. Today, our guest is Nicola Lake, and I'd like to share that I'm very pleased that Nicola is a dear friend and a colleague. We've known one another for several years now, and she co-founded the group Wired Schools with me a couple years ago. She's a fellow health rights advocate, and as she puts it, a mom of many. And she's just so dynamic with what all she's accomplished in her community and, um, you know, to try to affect change on global problems causing harm. So I'd like to welcome you, Nicola. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Christine. And what we thought we'd like to talk about, Nicola's been really getting involved with a group, a freedom family sort of group. And I'd love to hear more, uh, whatever you care to share, what, uh, what drew you into wanting to form this type of group, how it evolved, and what you're working on, what your goals are, and how we can help you. Thank you. Well, um, as with most of us, I think, you know, this roller coaster of a, a life in the last year or so um, brought me many uh, insights. And one of the insights was how valuable community is. And I grew up in Europe and went in a small village and would love, love, love to replicate that where I am. And that slowing down process, that pausing, led me to create a telegram group called, at the time it was called Colorado Freedom Family, which I've since renamed to Free World Family because I wanted it to go big and not go home. So, I started that um, on Telegram in in order to connect people who were looking, who were like like like-hearted souls. And out of that, many people wanted to meet in person. And so I was, uh, we had an event in person where we uh, watched Derek Rose's uh, Greater Reset. And we all took notes and wrote down on a big whiteboard together what inspirations we were getting from the speakers that we were hearing about and how we could translate that to our communities locally. And after that, I created the Conscious Community Collaboration event up in Boulder at the Riverside with those wonderful people. And... 50 or so folks came from all over the metro area and it was just, it was just stunning. It was magical. Zan came with her art and we were all co-creating this art. So we were bringing up the trauma of what we are experiencing to recognize and honor that. And then we were flipping the script, turning the tables over and then creating, writing down what it was that we wanted to see, you know, focusing on what we wanted to create, what we wanted to replace what we had with, where we could put our energy and focus. Um, That came up in in the 12 areas of, of human activity that, Foster Gamble came up with in his Thrive movies, documentaries. So from that, we then took away, splintered off into like groups of cadres of eight, which is also what um, Derek talks about. So it's like that, also that power of eight, that small groups of eight Um, in your own communities so if you you know it's best to to get started rather than do nothing Um, that's where the motivation comes from Um, and meet in person so that 
the misunderstandings are you're able to iron those out fast um and without without resentment you know without the things that come up online and you can really start to build those strong networks and ties with your community that the kinds that we had um going back to that you know small village feel like you know there are pros and cons to it you know your neighbors and you also know your neighbors um but there's a there's a cohesion in that um because if you can stand you know linked arm to arm with with your neighbors there's nothing you can't accomplish uh together so true united we stand right mm-hmm. yeah that, that's- um, united we thrive you know the whole point at the moment is to separate and divide and the polarity and the duality that we see outside of ourselves um is is not serving us so if we can see our neighbors as ourselves um even if and embrace the the diversity of each of us that we all have a piece of the puzzle um but together it's a beautiful picture so That's why so would true. we do that That's so true. I love that. And I love that you talk about village. And even I've been looking into international communities, as as I've shared with you to try to understand more about how they work, co-housing, eco villages, they go by many names. And I love the word village. And I love the word tribe, you know, bring together your tribe. And I've always thought that as you know, in these, in these times we're all going through right now is that so much attempt is being made to instill fear and divide us and, you know, muzzle our face and our mouth and, you know, the way that we show our emotions and can soothe one another and show love for one another, they're, they're doing their darndest to have that not happen, as you know. And um, so I just love that, you know, that we're doing these things. And I do believe that we are all um, way more alike than we are different, even if there are, you know, areas of disagreement among us, there are also many areas that are in agreement. And it's really good to uncover that with one another, to try to see how we can focus on the good, you know, and set aside you know, those parts that are might be a little rough edges that we can work on. So does your group, Nicola, have any specific goals? Like, what do you want to accomplish? Where Mm -hmm. do you want to be? Thanks for asking. Yes, our our prime bright principle, the core purpose of, of the free world family is to is to really, you know, create that heaven that heaven on earth that Eden we know is possible um and when we're doing the work it's right there we're doing it it's here already um and it's not a case of running away from or 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 trying to sidestep the problems or uh, it's it's having a conscious awareness of what we're up against and choosing a path that that um, truly inspired by in Buckminster Fuller when he said about building uh, a world that doesn't rely on the old one that makes the old one obsolete. So I'm not fighting. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Mm-hmm. So I'm focusing my attention and the purpose of the group is to build this parallel society. Um, in, in co-collaboration with everybody. And the challenge being that we've all, everyone who's ever worked closely with another is that, you know, conflict comes up and how do we, it's, you know, it's, we have to go back to the purpose of the group. Um, and what are we there to do? Um, and then, also embrace those those conflicts some you know whenever those conflicts come up let's wrap our arms around them use sociocracy and other amazing tools to 
really dig deep into what it is that is the dis-ease so that everybody gets heard and not only heard but truly honored and um assisted and held up in community so that our wounds we can heal those traumas that stop us from getting where we want to go that that is that is so strong and um I uh, had a conversation uh, probably a couple of years ago now with Olga Sheen, and she has done so much work in unearthing, it's not the sins of our ancestors, but the, the, as you say, the trauma of our ancestors that go back thousands of years, and how we carry those forward uh, millennia after millennia, and, and how they impact us now. And there's very little... I've other than Olga and her work, there's very little that I've heard about that. In fact, I'm going to, I'll post a link to that particular conversation I had with her in the comments below. I'll, um, in addition to some other points that you've raised today, uh, Nicola, I think that would be very interesting, but, mm. and I, I, I think that the concept might seem so foreign to most of us. Like, what are you talking about? You know, how could this old stuff, be impacting us now, you know, especially, you know, young folks today, and they're so into the moment that how do we get to look at something that could have happened so long ago? Are, are, are the other other people in your group pretty much on board with this concept? Well, it, we're totally voluntary. So mm -hmm. those who are, uh, are welcomed in to, you know, do those deep dives. Um, and those that aren't will orbit around and see the fruits of our labor. Mm -hmm. And then maybe that's the best invitation, right? To uh, absolutely for the healing to occur. Um, but it does take um, a, a, a courage and a fortitude to step into that space of the unknown and not knowing. You know, so much of our life is is handed to us on a plate or given, we're given choice A or choice B. And I'm getting to the place where there's so many other options that are not being offered to us that are available to us um, as possibilities if we choose them. Absolutely. Well, that is so inspiring. Um, so, so. Are, do you have any projects that you're working on specifically? Mm -hmm. So I, I did some really um, interesting work with a, a group in Boulder called One Core, and they were um, using the work of uh, Clinton Callahan um, and the Next Culture um, organization. Uh, they do courses all over the world, one of which was Expand the Box, and then another one was um, Possibility Management Training. And it, it's all about appealing to your archetypal lineage. So once you've really, it, it's about feeling the feelings um, that your body stores and exploring, uh, discovering what beliefs you have chosen to keep yourself safe primarily over the times past um, to in order to function um, and and identify those become conscious of those so that you can then make a new decision which will create new results in your life um, it's a real kick in the pants to be honest it's it's the things that you discover are just completely mind-blowing things that you even if you think you're smart you know the things that come up um are like, truly like what what's an example that kind of knocked your socks off <laughs> oh so many um i'm just trying to think of well i can i can speak to um let me sense into what to share here um because a lot of it's really personal stuff okay, okay. Um, whatever you're but, comfortable with yeah um so i can share um so a friend of mine that went through the the course with me um 
and maybe this isn't me being as vulnerable as I could because I'm not sharing about myself, but um, he grew up with a, a pa parents who were divorced. And so with his, so with a parent and, and a step parent and they fought often. And so it was just for him discovering his, his, his attuned sense of knowing when the two of them were about to kick off into a huge argument. So um, he would like swoop in there and diffuse matters, right? So his, he had told himself that anger was dangerous. And the new decision was that anger is his ally because his, what he saw as something that was a, a wrongness in him became his superpower, as it were, because in his everyday life now, he is able to see or feel or sense when things are about to go south. And he, he, he's amazing. He can go in there and diffuse in a way that it doesn't escalate. Does that, is that a good example? I'd say yes. Um, wow. That is so, that is so very, I, I use the word interesting too often. I apologize. That's a wow. That, that's definitely a wow. And I don't know of anyone who can't apply that thinking to their life. And um, I, just speaking to share something personal um, with me, I was, um, and many uh, have gone through this. I found out that uh, I'm an only child and raised by um, uh, loving parents, but it was also in, in an atmosphere where I was encouraged to only display um, uh, smiles. Uh, op, everything's fine. Everything's fine. You know, how are you doing in school? Fine. You know, do you have any problems? No, everything's fine. You know, when, and I didn't sh dare show that I was afraid or angry or scared. Um, you know, and, and again, I'm probably sharing too much here, but it, to me, I, I couldn't help but apply that, that so many of us have been brought up to think that if we feel anger, or if we observe others having anger, that it's, it's a negative thing when, you know, it's a natural emotion and, and it inspires us to look deeper, you know, and even when we're feeling very, very sad and woe is me and I don't see any way out of this mess, you know, just go with it, feel it, write it, write it all the way down and look for the answers because they're there and yeah. then shoot back up as soon as you can and then fix things. So, you know, it, it's whether it's our body feeling different physical things or our, our mind feeling different ways that they're happening for a reason and we need to honor every one of them, right? Yes, yes. They say uh, in, in this work that I did that the only four emotions and apparently it's good news for men but um the sadness uh the fear uh the joy and anger and everything else is a mix of those four but if you can be um if you can hone them down into their pure expression um then there's gold there's feedback in there for you um if you're willing to go there Absolutely. And I guess the I guess the trick is to recognize these different emotions for what they are, and then find a way to share them with those in your life who would be involved in going through these things with you, such that, you know, you share it with love. And if there's conflict, you know, there's a solution. And Think about why you came together in the first place and you're on the same team and you talk it through, whether it's a group or, you know, um, a couple of, of any kind or friends yeah. and siblings. And yeah, as so. we start, you know, gravitating towards like minds and hearts, we'll be looking for tools such as this uh, to to be able to live uh, in community um, you know, to bring the wisdom circles and, the, uh, you know, the, the, the tools we need to, to work and live together. 
I love that. And um, I, I'm not looking to, to take this really too long, but if you'd like to kind of wrap up or a little bit about your group, if there are ways that we can support you, if you're looking for that, or um, do you have a website you'd like to share more information? And I, I'll, I'll invite you to send me links that you might be rel- related to what we covered. 